الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله أما بعد uh, Is it permissible for us to say Jumu'ah Mubarak? Now, you won't find anything from the Quran in this regard You won't find anything from the Sunnah Or from the Salaf, from the best of my knowledge That they used to greet one another with Jumu'ah Mubarak But Jumu'ah is Mubarak Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a surah in the Quran Surah Jumu'ah Which is in reference to Yawm al-Jumu'ah The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said It's the best day that the sun uh, you know, rises on Therefore it is a day where there is no doubt That there is a great deal of barakah The Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Your dua is accepted on this day Jumu'ah is obligated on this day Seeking ilm is obligated for you to listen to the khutbah etc There is a lot of khair on the day of Jumu'ah but it's a contemporary issue. It is not, like I said, from the best of my knowledge found in the books of the four madhabs, etc. Therefore, the ulama have split. Some of them have said that it is a bid'ah. Outright bid'ah because there is no precedence to it. And for me, this is safer. This is safer. However, some of the ulama, and this is the view of Ibn Thaymin and others, have said if a person does it out of customarily doing it, not because he believes that it is part of the religion, and especially if he does it sometimes, then there is no harm in it. And I think this, for me, actually, is the stronger view, actually. This is the stronger view. But the reason why I say the other one is safer is because then people will probably open up the doors and they'll make it habitual and they might not understand the different principles that are, you know, uh, that are being, you know, being used here to understand this fiqhi point. Therefore, sometimes it's better for us to make the sudd al is to block the means, and just to say, you know, I think it's best to avoid it. However... And if they mean, he's got a very strong point. He is saying here, Rahimullah, if a person is greeting another person, Eid Mubarak, Ramadan Mubarak, Jumu'ah Mubarak, he's not doing it because he believes that he is following the Messenger of Allah. It's a form of dua. Allah bless your Jumu'ah. Allah bless your Eid. Allah bless your uh, whatever it might be. There, there's no harm in that, inshallah. Especially if he doesn't believe it to be part of the Sharia. And if he doesn't take it as something which is habitual. So for me, I think this is in more in line with the principles and the evidences of the religion. That asya, uh, asya the, 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 the principle and anything that you want to say and your customs and your dress code and, and your greetings, all of it is permissible. So it's very important for us to understand now, after the salam, after the salam, because the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, salam, begin with the salam. So after the salam, you can say whatever you want. And we do this customarily anyway. So if we do it in our customs, how come we cannot apply this here when it comes to Jumu'ah Mubarak? This is a very strong argument, as you can see. So when you meet someone, you say, Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Assalamu alaikum, good morning. Assalamu alaikum, how's things? Assalamu alaikum, what's up? Assalamu alaikum, you know, you might say in your own language, for example. So you start with the salam, and this is what has been legislated, and after that you can say whatever you want. So, assalamu alaikum, Jum'ah Mubarak. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Jum'ah Mubarak. Inshallah khair, as Uthaymir is saying here. However, like I said, it's probably best if a person refrains because of the fact that this could open up the doors for, you know, possible introduction into religion and innovations, etc., which could then cause confusion and could then cause problems elsewhere. But if you do find a person saying Jum'ah Mubarak, it is not a, for me, it is not a thing for a person to make inkar and rejection and, you know, be harsh on because, like we have said, there is a legitimate difference of opinion and in line with the evidence, it seems to be the case case that if a person does it just out of dua, just out of occasionally wanting khayr for your brother and reminding them of the goodness of this day, inshallah there's no harm in this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best.